Hello, so uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, before I start with uh, Vet Fetcher, we can kind of give you a little bit of feedback of how we got here. Uh, we were interested first in trying to see how we could resolve the issue of trying to understand what healthcare costs are. So if you get a you, you need a knee surgery, how much will that cost? Um, uh, our team here on, on my left, uh, while we're getting all that research, we actually kind of ended up um, tweaking a little bit different and I bring you to all uh, bed, bed fetchers. So what is bed fetcher? So all of you, um, if you have a dog, you know, think of, or, or a pet, any type of pet, think of, think of your pet for a moment. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a lovely, it's a really nice experience to have, to have a pet, but everyone runs into an issue. And what is that issue? Let me share you the story of my friend, Caitlin. So Caitlin uh, loves pets. She went ahead and went for a dog. She, she went to uh, get a dog. And in you know the first five couple of, of days, she actually found out that she wants well, she to find a vet. Um, she wanted to be able to provide, you know, uh, make her, her pet healthy, uh, which now, by now, you know, she calls the vet, her pet this penny. So she ran into this issue that you know she needed to find well first a vet. She had no idea about well, what would, what would be the cost, and then how to get to to you know that that vet's place. So how, how to schedule it. So three three issues that basically everyone kind of runs through if, if you're a pet owner, and this could be any type any, any type of pet owner. So what can you do about this? Well, we want to solve those exactly those three things. So vet fetchers. You can help you find a vet in one spot. We can get you what are the costs, what are the typical costs for procedures, so you start becoming aware of that, and you want to have a pet, but you don't want it to be too expensive. And we let you schedule that. In addition, you could potentially get a discount. What? Now, why, why, why is this going to work? Well, there's about um, 67 households out there that have pets. That, that, that's about you know seven million households. So these are people that either are you know have new pets, they're moving around, um, and, and they care they care they care for the pets. Uh, there's about five to six million new pet owners a year, um, and about those there's about fifty thousand vets that need to be matched with those pet owners. This means that this brings a fifty five billion market, and fourteen billion of it is just in vet care. Uh, how, how do all the people, well, what, what's our competition? So we look into it, and there's basically, you know, just sites that have a repository of veterinarians, and that's it. You don't really get any information, you don't get any data on how much it would cost. You, you're a new pet owner, you don't want to find a surprise, right? You want to get an idea of what it is. Um, and that's basically, you know, and that's basically all the information you get. With us, you can get three, you know, you can find it in, in your region, you could find uh, how much it will cost, and then you can schedule it right there at that moment which is making flexible to you. So let me show you a little bit of how this works. Uh, basically, we wanted to make a really nice clean interface. Uh, as you can see, uh, to understand how, you know, for every user to understand how it works, you can basically you know, find out that compare price. You, com you compare all the vets that are in that area, and then you schedule them online. Uh, once you select them, it will show you to your area, you can see what it is, and then you can, on that spot, you know, schedule something. So you want to be a, a new, new pet owner, you want to see how it works around your schedule. That's it. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Um, uh, we just want to be a pay for service fee, and this is a, you know, best, best pleasure. Thank you. Best time. Thank you. How did you validate um, if this would be compelling to vets? Yes, so we talked to a couple of vets, um, and they're finding out that it's getting more and more competitive to kind of find and, and sponsor themselves. We started looking about, you know, they're, they're really not, there's not a lot of technology out there. A couple of them have like a, you know, a website, but it's you know, very outdated. They're not really, they're, they're, that's not really what, what they're looking at. So our proposal is, you know, we, we, we can get your information, you can put your details on where, even your specialties, and we can help you make that match with them. And again, you, you pay per um, commitment, per, uh, you schedule it, so per appointment, then, so you, there's, no, there's really no risk for you. You, you. you have all to gain, nothing to lose, and we really just wanna match the pet owner with, with the proper vet. 
how would this talk to the scheduling software that all of these vets use? And there could be dozens of different platforms that they use for scheduling, which could link into their accounting and other things. Mm -hmm. How will you, you know, create the architecture to link into those, or or is the plan that they'll just do away with their scheduling software and use this exclusively? Mm -hmm. So that's something that we we need to work around it to figure out how that way. Um, initially, what I was thinking is, you know. Give us, give us some of the slots that you know you have open, that you know that we know that you don't get that you know high traffic. We could put you into a schedule. We can schedule something in. You can start seeing this feedback, and then we can talk about how we can make things work together. Uh, to, I think it's a really neat idea. I think you guys are on something with it. Mm -hmm. But the how do you get the vets to want to give you their prices? And two, I've been wondering about this for a while. Mm -hmm. I've been curious why nobody goes and just buys a bunch of pet bills. bills. In the community, let's say at ten thousand, and give everybody two bucks per bill or something. Mm -hmm. You could effectively create price, price transparency, and whether it's a price line model or pay per use, on a, you know, uh, surplus capacity model, whatever you want, mm -hmm. you could play around with it to get the most margin. But you would be the one to do the price. Mm -hmm. People would gladly, you know, three bucks and give you know, give me a test bill or give me three bucks. People would probably do that if they thought mm -hmm. it was right down price. Anyway, so the first one is just how do the how do the best respond to having a price efficient market. Well, um, with the information we got, we actually didn't find any much issue on finding, so our initial problem was actually getting healthcare for people, and that was becoming uh, impossible. It's a different price. So that's why we switched to vets in financial that it's, it's, more, it's easier to figure out like, how much is gonna shot, how much is a shot, for example. So we can kind of have a list of maybe the top, top procedures, and actually kind of even ask around and, and get that information. So that's something we'll, we'll have to work out through. Uh, but initially, I mean, we, we didn't feel that much, uh, you know, pushback on, on, on things like that. So you're saying if you call the vet, they will tell you, you know, ask for a list of different things that would bring your head into the video list of pricing, or is it? Well, well um, I don't know if we could get like a fully list of pricing. We'd like to incentivize it a little bit. So say your initial checkup, normally $75, this is $45, and then you develop the initial relationship. So that's where the, we see the incentive with the... So it's more lead gen instead of efficient market. Yes. Okay. That's all the time we got. Thank you.